I think you should just take out of your office what you need for the immediate, and then I'll have them pack everything else up and take it over to your house. Which I recently mortgaged to give us seed money for Rodeo Drive. I have as much right to be here as you do. Let's not get into the rights issue. Let's look at it this way. You want Ridge here working with you, seeing you day in and day out after what you've pulled? I don't think even you are that cruel. I don't know what I'll do about that, but I certainly know I am not going to be taking marching orders from you. You're here. I don't think Ridge knew that. Where is he? Uh, uh, don't even go there. He said he needed to clear his head. If I know my brother, he took the elevator to the roof. Thank you, Miss Loose Lips. Brooke went to Nick's, and no wonder Ridge was so upset. I didn't tell him any of those details, so don't you. He's no fool. So what are we going to do about the launch? Um, well, we'll just put on the best face possible. Lots of smiles and say, um, look, the wedding was called off for personal reasons or, you know, it was for the best. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's going to buy that? I am. <laughs> I'm so happy I can pop a champagne cork right now. Mother, you can be a cold, cold woman. Oh, you think so? Really, Felicia? Would you rather have had something like this happen a month after they were married? Well, I'd have lost a bet last night. I would have thought Nick would take Brooke back in a heartbeat. Well, he wants to marry Taylor. They're going to have a family. They're actually going to try and have a baby. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that's it then. If she can give Nick a child, then he'll never look back. Brooke knows that. She's probably patching things up with Ridge as we speak. Well, I wouldn't count on that. <laughs>